Danny Garcia and Sean Porter meet face to face and Danny Garcia says he's stronger, faster, better. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, Danny Garcia and Sean Porter met up in New York. Showtime is airing their fight. It was supposed to happen late August. Now it is taking place at the Barclays Center September 8th. I'm looking forward to it. At this press conference, they were kind of going back and forth. There's some banter. And Danny Garcia said, and I quote, I'm stronger than Sean Porter. I've got bigger punching power than Sean Porter. I'm faster than him. I'm just a better all-around fighter than him. So I'm looking forward to this because I know for a fact, I know the Porters, and I know they wanted this fight for a while. Actually, I have an exclusive interview with Sean Porter when we were in Las Vegas, and he was basically calling out Danny Garcia and saying, put up or shut up, and it got like 60,000 plus views or whatever it was. So I know a lot of people seen it. and. Sean Porter's been calling for this fight or Keith Thurman for quite some time, so I'm glad that it's here. And Sean Porter at the press conference says that he wanted to fight him. So, he, you know what I mean? Like, if you look at it, Sean Porter, he had that altercation. I don't want to say altercation, but he had that run-in with Keith Thurman on the week of Garcia versus Brandon Rios. And then he got in the ring on Danny Garcia, right? And I guess, I guess he was tired of getting the runaround, so we just went and went straight to the source and said, what's good with the fight? And now we're getting the fight. That was just in February, if I'm not mistaken. So great fight. I'm glad that the fight's happening. Both guys stylistically present problems for the other guy. Danny Garcia is very good with his timing. Punching power is there. But some people would argue that his punching power is not quite what it was at 140 or it doesn't affect the guys the same way that it did to the guys at 140. We know Sean Porter is strong. He's durable. He's even fought in the amateurs, I believe, at like 165 against the likes of Dominique Wade and I believe Demetrius Andrades and just different people like that. So he's a, a full, even though he's shorter for, for the division or shorter than some of his opponents, He's durable and he's proven that time and time again going against big punchers like Kell Brook and also against Keith Thurman. He took some big shots from Keith Thurman and never took a step back. So um, crazy conditioning. The other thing that's interesting to me is aside from Danny Garcia's athleticism, timing, accuracy is Sean Porter's athleticism. And I believe Sean Porter has a, a lot more amateur experience than a lot of people know of. Most of the guys from Ohio and Midwest that are boxers that started at an appropriate age have a lot more experience than maybe they've had to pull out in some fights, but he can box. And stylistically, he, he just makes guys uncomfortable. Andre Berto, just the roughhousing and the coming in and the aggression, he, he, he seemed like that wasn't the fight he wanted to fight and it wasn't going his way. So he, he didn't tame it. You know, you have to be like almost on some Floyd Mayweather cerebral shit to um, tame a wild bull like that you know what i mean someone's just gonna keep coming and tough and durable and has punching power you know so he's gonna look to stay in i would imagine stay in danny garcia's chest make him uncomfortable make him feel like yo you at the welterweight division now this ain't mauricio herrera even though i thought garcia lost that fight but you get what i'm saying it's not one of these smaller 140s let me know what you guys think good fight i like the the tension and animosity um i'll probably reach out to the porters Try to get in camp with them and get some exclusives for you guys. Let me know what you guys think of the fight. Who are you picking to win? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.